Okay, so after learning about our shift analysis and our, our other bird limits, we are now ready to classify soils. Okay, so we have two systems uh, in classifying soil. First one is your Unified Soil Classification System or your USCS. Second one is your ASHTO method. Yan, maybe discuss ko later on. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's begin with our USCS. So USCS stands for Unified Soil Classification System, and each soil is given a two-letter classification. For example, is SW stands for a well-graded sand. Yeah. Okay. So the following procedure is used. So first, uh, we determine natin kung coarse grain soil or fine grain soil yung ating soil mass. So paano ba yun? Okay, by using our parameters, yung first parameter is yung percent passing shift number 200. Okay, so yun yung pinaka uh, iba bang shift sa shift analysis. So that is 0 0.075 millimeter opening na shift. Okay, if dalawa kasi yung uh, option dito, it's either a coarse green soil or a fine green soil. If lesser than 50% yung passing sa number 200 shift natin, then it is considered as a coarse green soil. Then, if uh, yung percent passing through the 200 shift is greater than 50%, then the soil mass is considered as a fine green soil. Yan. Okay? So, saan ba makuha yung values nito? Yung percent passing shift number 200. Yan. So, makukuha yan sa ating shift analysis na discuss ko na uh, kanina. Okay? So, yan. So, if dito kayo mag-fall, mag-focus lang kayo sa left part. Kasi marami pang uh, parameters pa iba ba. Yan. If naman, um dito kayo sa right part edi mag focus lang kayo dito sa right part yan so marami pa kasing parameters diyan so uh, dito sa USCS guys needed yung data natin ng shift analysis and also yung other bird limits natin so yan okay so let me just discuss about the definition of grain sizes according to your USCS. Okay, according to your USCS, yan, anything that is bigger than 300 mm, that is diameter, okay? So 300 mm, the diameter na soil or rock, is considered as boulders. And anything that is between or 300 mm to 75, 75 mm to 300 mm na size ng rocks or soils is considered as cobbles. Next one is from uh, passing through your uh, 75 mm na opening na shift and is retained at the number 4 shift, yan, standard shift, is considered as gravel. So may division yung gravel natin, meron tayong coarse gravel and fine gravel. Yan, coarse gravel and fine gravel. Okay? It is considered as a coarse gravel if the size of the particles is between or from 19 mm to 75 mm. Yan. Considered naman siya na fine gravel kapag uh, passing through 19 mm shiv and is retained at the number 4 or 4.75 mm na standard shift. Yan. And... Kapag naman yung mga particles na nag-pass through kay number 4 shift and is retained at the number 200 shift, yan, they are considered as fine sand. Yan, fine na particles na yan. So, considered as fine na kasi lahat to. Pero may division pa rin. Yan. So, from number 4 to number 200, that is considered as sand. Okay? So, may tatlong division yung sand natin. Meron tayong coarse sand, medium sand, and fine sand. So, it is considered as coarse sand if it is from 4.75 mm to 2 mm na size ng particles. Considered naman siya 
na medium sand if the S2 mm to 0.425 mm. And for uh, your fine sand that is passing through number 4 sheave and is retained at your number 200 or 0 0.075 mm sheave. And lastly, yan, lahat ng magpass through sa number 200 sheave is considered as your silts and clays. Yan. So, to determine naman kung silt ba siya or clay, kasi dalawa to, silt and clay, so maliit na masyado para ma-determine using sheave analysis. So, yung gagamitin natin para ma-determine if silt or clay siya is your Atterberg limits through your plasticity. Yan. Okay? So, paano ba mag-determine if silt or clay? Yan, gamit tong uh, graph na to. So, itong graph na to is fixed na. Yan, binigay ko na rin kanina yung um, equation ng ating A-line. Yan. So, um, yung green graph dito is yung plasticity index versus your liquid limit. And we all know na yung liquid limit natin is yung moisture content natin at 25 blows that is making a 13 mm gap at your Casa Grande cap. Yan. Okay. So, yung green graph dito is yung plasticity index versus yung liquid limit ng, uh, ng specific na soil. Okay. So, kapag, let's say, uh, the graph falls down, uh, the point falls above the A line, then it is considered as a clay. Yan. And if the point falls below the A line, then it is considered as a silt. Okay? Yan. So, considered as a silt. Yan. And of course, take note that for silt, yung symbol natin for silt is M. Okay? Sa so USCS. And pag clay naman, that is C. Yan. Okay? And also, dito sa USCS kasi, kinoconsider pa natin uh, as a classification yung level of plasticity ng soil. So, if liquid limit is, yung liquid limit po yung parameter natin. So, if your liquid limit is above 50, then that is a soil with high plasticity. Depende na lang kung clay or silt siya. So, if clay, that is um, the CL and CH kasi yan. Okay? So, CL yan. CL means clay with low plasticity or low plasticity clay. Kung CH naman, eh, that is high plasticity clay. Yan. Kapag uh, below the A-line naman, and uh, we consider that as silt. So, ganun pa rin. Uh, gamit yung liquid limit natin, we, comp uh, we classify your soil as high plasticity, high plasticity or low plasticity. So, that is... ML or ML that is silt uh, with low plasticity and MH4 uh, silt with high plasticity. Yan. Okay. So next tayo. Yan. So yun, ito yung table. Pinalaki ko lang konti. Yan. Okay. So what if? Yan. So mag-focus muna tayo. Yan. So what if yung percent passing sa number 200 shift is lesser than 50%. If that's the case, then we consider the soil as a coarse grain soil. Yan. So, dito na tayo mag-focus sa left part natin. Okay? So, after um, the parameter of your coarse grain soil or fine grain soil, yung susunod naman is to consider, uh, to classify your soil if it is gravel or sand. Okay, so may ay, meron tayong formula for that. Yan, okay? Ang kailangan yung gawin una is to determine yung percentage ng coarse soil and the percentage of gravel. Okay? Ano ba yung mga... Um, ano ba yung equation natin to compute your coarse soil? Okay? So, that is 100 minus percent passing number 200 shift. Okay? And then... Yung gravel naman natin is 100 minus passing through number 4 shift. Ano ba yung, uh, ano ba yung sinasabi dito? Okay? 
So lahat ng coarse soil, yan, yung pumapasa or yung retain sa number 200 shift. Okay? That is considered as your coarse soil. Dito naman sa gravel, yan, 100 minus passing number 4 shift, meaning gravel is yung mga retain sa number 4 shift. Yan, okay? Yan, okay. So, kapag na-compute nyo na to, yan, i-compare nyo sa, siya sa isa at sa. So, ito yung equations to determine if it is gravel or sand. Yan. If yung percentage ng gravel is greater than the one half of the percentage of the coarse soil, yan, then it is considered as a gravel. Kapag naman yung gravel natin is lesser than the one half of the percentage of your coarse soil, then it's is considered as sand. So, yun yung letter natin for gravel and sand. So, G for gravel and S for sand. Okay? And then next, yan. So, uh, dito na kayo, uh, meron na kayong isang letter. So, ito yung unang letter, G or S. Yan. And then, yung sunod na letter, yan, uh, pasok ulit yung percent passing shift number 200. So, tatlo yung options dito. Yan. If uh, the percent passing shift number 200 is less than 5%, then dito kayo mag-focus. Kapag naman 5 to 12%, 5 to 12% then dito. And then kapag greater than 12%, dito naman. Okay? So, unahin ko muna yung lesser than 5%, then sunod ko yung greater than 12%. Kasi itong 5 to 12% is the combination of this parameter and this parameter. Yan. Okay? So, let's start. So, if uh, the percent passing shift number 200 is lesser than 5%, we need to know your CU and CC. Okay? Kasi yung gagawin na lang dito is to classify whether yeah, yung uh, gravel or sanyo is well graded or poorly graded. Kasi tingnan nyo dito, GW stands for well graded gravel. Ito naman, GP is poorly graded gravel. Ito naman, SW, well-graded sand, and SP stands for poorly graded sand. Okay? Pero paano ba compute kung well-graded or poorly graded? So, ito yung sunod. Yan. To compute if it is poorly graded or well-graded, well kailangan nating makuha muna yung CU and CC natin. Ano ba yung CU? CU stands for coefficient of uniformity. And the equation is D60 all over D10. Yan. And CC is the coefficient of gradation and the equation is D squared, D3 D squared all over D60 times D10. Ano ba yung D60, D10, and D30? That stands for the diameter with the corresponding percent finer. Okay? Yan. So, kanina sa shift analysis natin, nag-graph na tayo ng particle size distribution and that is... Um, percent finer at the linear scale versus your particle size at the logarithmic scale. Yan. Okay? So, yung kailangan nyo lang gawin, meron naman na kayong curve mula sa shift analysis, mag-interpolate lang kayo, yan, from the percent finer. Okay? So, if that is D60, then kunin nyo yung diameter that corresponds to 60% finer. Yan. So, 60% Graph kayo horizontally. Pag tinamaan yung graph, bababa kayo. And then, yung corresponding na diameter, yun yung ilalagay nyo as D60. For this one, let's say, for this one, example lang naman. Okay, so for 60, tinamaan dito, bumaba. And that would be um, 0. Point, maybe 0. 0.6 or 0. 0.55. Yan, okay. Parang ganun. Yan. And so on. So, D30 and D10. Yeah. Okay? So, kapag na-compute nyo na yung CU and CC, meron tayong parameters for that to determine if yung soil natin or yung gravel and sand natin is well-graded or poorly graded. Yan. Yeah. So, ito po yung ating parameter for gravels. Let's say gravel yung ah, natamaan niya. Okay? Pag gravel yan... If CU is greater than 4 and CC is between 1 to 3, then that is well-graded. Pag natamaan na yung, niya yung parameter na to, that is a well-graded gravel. Okay? If not, then that would be a poorly-graded gravel. 
Ganun din sa sun, okay? So, that is a well-graded sun if your CU is greater than 6 and your CC is between 1 and 3. Okay, so, yun yun, if uh, that, uh, the percent passing shift number 200 is greater than 5%. Yan. Okay? So, what if naman, uh, the percent passing shift number 200 is uh, above 12%. Yan. Okay? So, yung gagamitin natin dito is yung plasticity charts natin. Okay? Or yung graph natin kanina, yung above A line or below A line. De-determine lang natin kung uh, clay siya or silty. Okay? Meaning, uh, maraming gravel na maraming silt gm is gm is silty gravel or uh, in tagalog gravel na maraming silt yan so gc is clayish gravel ganun lang naman yan sm is silty sand and s is for clayish sand okay, parang ganun lang yan okay so yun lang naman so to determine that yan punta tayo sa table nito Okay. Kasi mas marami dito. So, kom mas complete to. Ito yung complete na unified classification system na table. Okay? So, sana ba yung uh, tinitignan ko kanina? If more than 12% yung um, pa percent passing number 200 shape or more than 12% yung fines niya. So, dito tayo magpo-focus. Yan. Yung isang option is yung PI or your plasticity index. Yan. Erase yan. Hindi ko may erase yan. Wait lang. Erase ko ng konti. Ayan. Release. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, PI. Ayan. So, PI, uh, plasticity index. If your plasticity index is lesser than 4, ayan, then, pwede nang sabihin na silty yung gravel nyo. If your plasticity index is above 7, then pwede, pwede nyo nang sabihin na clayish yung gravel niya. Okay? Ganun din kay sand. Okay? Pareho lang sila. So, dito lang nagkakatalo yung gravel and sand. So, if PI is lesser than 4, that is uh, silty, and then PI is greater than 7, that is clayish. But what if uh, middle part siya? So, yung ano kasi nito, uh, lesser than 4 and greater than 7. Paano naman yung 5 and 6? 4, 5, 6, and 7. Yan. Kung ganun yung lalabas sa PI nyo, yan, then punta na kayo sa inyong plasticity chart. Yung plasticity, plasticity chart, yung, yun yung graph na merong A-line. Na-discuss ko na kanina yan. Okay? So, above A-line, kapag nag-plot yung, uh, di ba, meron tayong graph na versus plastic, plasticity index versus liquid limit. Yan, yung plastic, plasticity index versus liquid limit. Yan. Kapag nag-plot siya above A-line, so, meaning, that would be a silt. Yan. I, above a line, that would be a clay. Yan. And below a line, that would be a silt. Yan. So, parang ganun rin lang naman yan. Okay? Pareho lang sila ng gravel. Yan. Okay? So, sunod naman na gawin natin is for your fine grain soil. Okay? So, tapos na tayo dyan. So, what if naman, uh, kumasok tayo sa 15% or more. Yan. 50% or more passes number 200 ship. So, yan. So, determine lang natin dito. Yan. Yung final lang naman talaga dito is if it is a silt or is it a clay. And also, if it has a uh, high plasticity or low plasticity. Yan. Okay. So, silts and clays. Yan. So, dalawa lang yung dito. So, um, for Liquid limit less than 50%. Yung patutunguhan lang nito is high, ay high plasticity. Kaya siya may L dito. Okay? If your liquid limit is 50 or more, yan. Low pala. Um, sorry. Okay? So, low plasticity. Yan. So, if your liquid limit is above 50, yan. Then, high plasticity siya. Kaya siya merong H dito. Okay? And, Dito sa inorganic and organic, yan, 